We had been able to procure birch bark pretty easily with Royce's help. And so we were able to send pure birch bark to different distillers across the world. And each of them could prove that there was birch oil in the bark, but none of them could really prove the process to obtain that oil out of the bark. And eventually through a lot of effort, Royce was able to find a gentleman named Skip. My name is Grant Cavanaugh. My nickname is Skip Cavanaugh. I've been around birch still since I was three years old. A lot of that history is oral. One thing about history is if it ain't written down, it didn't happen. If you Google birch stills, they would say there were birch stills in Tioga County, Pennsylvania. End of story. It didn't tell the sweat and the blood and the work that actually went into this, but nobody's in this business anymore. Before Skip, we had no record of birch essential oil production. It had become a lost art. But with Skip's record keeping and the knowledge that he learned from his father, we've been able to piece together the process by which we can produce birch essential oil. I was excited that someone was interested. I've seen fledgling businesses start up and go away. And the big chemical companies, they, they found a way to replicate it through chemistry but it's not natural. That's what brings us back to where we are today with this company, is that they're making essential oils and it is gonna be natural, uh, back the way it was. It's uh, progressively moving backwards <laughs> to, to be more natural. And to me, that's a good thing, it's a very good thing.